Do you remember Royole's personal cinema, or maybe back in the day, Sony's expensive and really cumbersome line of head-mounted cinemas? Well, here at TCL, they're having another go with the idea of putting a cinema on your face. I've just been trying TCL's wearable display concept, and like all of those other attempts, the idea is to trick your mind into thinking that you're watching a 100-inch cinema display by placing two very small screens very close in front of your eyes. Now, compared to uh, those other displays I mentioned, actually the effect is really quite good. You do feel as if you are in, you know, a kind of mall multiplex where there's maybe 50 or 60 seats and you've got, you know, a display that's only slightly bigger than a TV, but it really does work well in tricking your eye and it's a lot lighter and a lot more comfortable to wear than those other displays which were super bulky because they had to have all of the insides sitting on your head. Whereas this one, there's a, a USB-C out and then it connects to an Alcatel or TCL branded phone and you can just use it like a secondary display for that device. Now, the other interesting thing is that rather than trying to very deliberately lock you in to this idea of a personal cinema, they've actually made it so that you can wear it on public transport. There's a sort of semi-transparent uh, polarized visor in front of the cinema. So when you sort of refocus, you can actually see the outlines of people and lights and stuff that's moving behind you. And the company says that the idea is eventually you'll be able to walk around the house watching TV and doing other things or playing games or sitting on a train or an airplane. One issue with using it in public though is that there is a pair of speakers mounted into the glasses arms and if you want to be able to hear it you have to turn the volume up but the bleed is quite significant so the people next to you probably don't want to hear what you're watching unless they've also got a pair themselves. Now at this point it's just a concept, it's just TCL saying hey we're thinking about the future of video and what can we do to bring the screen closer to your face, make it cheaper, make it more fun and frankly this is a pretty good example of that, but I'm still never sold on the idea of wearing this for two or three hours at a time. It's not like VR where your head can be actively moving around. You have to sit very still because otherwise you trigger a motion sensor that can maybe take you out of the picture if you move the icon over to a specific place. It's a little bit burdensome and also no matter how hard you try, and yes, this is a really good implementation, but you're still very much aware that you're wearing two very small screens just very close to your eyes. And we're still not at that point where there's a magic bullet that says, yeah, that's definitely enough to trick me into wanting to wear this for two and a half hours at a time. And because it's a concept, there's no pricing and no availability. This is just, you know, something that they want to show off and see whether people like it and if they can make it cheaper and lighter and you know wireless maybe then maybe they'll try and sell it then but for now it's just an interesting tech demo with some potential but not entirely sure it's going to catch on myself another concept device that we've seen here today is tcl alcatel's idea of the folding phone it's a little bit smaller than the galaxy fold and it only has a 2k display but the big thing is that it's got a new butterfly hinge that actually folds perfectly flat when it's open and perfectly shut when it's closed. The company isn't rushing to get this to market. By their estimates, it's gonna be another year before we see it uh, available to buy. And in that time, they're gonna try and work to refine the concept and really just let Samsung and Huawei and anyone else who wants to try make all of the very big, silly public mistakes before they get their device out to consumers. For more information about this and all of the other really interesting stuff we're seeing here at IFA 2019, why don't you find us on YouTube uh, at Engadget and like and subscribe and click the little bell for notifications when we send out new videos. And also, why don't you just visit Engadget.com because frankly, it's brilliant.